Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Design World. I'm joined today with uh, Lisa Itell, our Senior Editor, and Steve Meyer, our Contributing Editor. We're here at NI Week uh, 2015 in Austin, Texas. Today was the, the first full day of NI Week. It's always such a fascinating event to come to. We had some great keynotes this morning, and, and one of the things, if you've ever been to an NI Week, that I think you'll, you'll realize quickly is, Although there's a lot of great product introduction, you know, we got the new uh, the Lab View 2015 was launched today, but so much of it is about the great applications that different companies are using NI products to to do some really fascinating things in the world. We had on the stage today, we had Embry Air, we had uh, Innovari, a, a grid company that was doing some interesting things with electricity. We had uh, Land Rover Jaguar on there and fascinating things on the trade show floor. I, I did a, a couple of videos which you'll be seeing soon. KUKA Robotics with Baxter Robotics, some of the things they're doing with warehousing, with nursing applications, even the, the types of things where you can't send a human being into a dangerous situation, you're going to send a robot there, and some really neat things that they're doing with Robot Rio and some of the other NI products. But uh, let's hand this off to Steve for a minute, and, and Steve, why don't you tell us what uh, you saw today or what uh, intrigued you? Uh, there's a company that's making a a uh, farm piece of farm equipment, basically, to collect pieces of sod for the golf courses and sporting arenas. And their machine is fully automated. And what I thought was fascinating about it is it combined five axes of electric servos with multiple axes of hydraulic power and several networks of communication required to piece everything together with the LabVIEW Rio, Compact Rio controlling the vehicle. But some of the amazing side effects were that they've actually increased their fuel efficiency through regenerated power that they can pick up in the actuators. It's an, an amazing collection of technology that they were able to put all of this together, not only to accomplish the primary task, but to have all these other benefits as a result. Thank you, Steve. And then Lisa, I think you, uh, you sat in on a couple of sessions today. Tell us what you learned. That's right, uh, Paul. I, uh, I am attending NI Week for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I attended a couple sessions, one of them being a hands-on technical session to introduce uh, engineers to software that comes as a plug-in for drivers, hardware drivers. It's called Measurement and Automation Explorer, and it essentially is a tool that helps set up sensors. I got a unit that had two strain gauges, and it was my job to kind of configure those and um, set up the I.O. for those. Super cool, um, very informative okay. session. Yep. The second thing that I saw down on the show floor um, was a, um, a machine control setup. Essentially, this is a, uh, a Cartesian robot that had two axes added to the top of it and then two additional axes doing a kind of a machine vision application. The machine vision axes were using cameras to track whether or not there were ball bearings present or not. Concurrently, there were eight axes, um, servo axes, brushless servo motors, I believe driven by Cole Morgan Drives, and they were all run off of a new compact Rio. And I think the especially cool thing about the setup was that there was an HMI there and it allowed visitors to this demonstration to kind of mash at a screen and manipulate what the display of these really amazing synchronized axes would display on this incredibly fast spinning LED lighting. So the special thing there was that the HMI did not require any PC between the compact Rio and itself. Very cool, thank you, Lisa. I should mention that uh, Lee Teschler is here with us as well. He couldn't be on the video today. Uh, he will join us tomorrow. He's uh, in an interview right now. Um, we, as you know, Design World does a lot uh, with social media, so please follow us on Twitter. We're using, using the hashtag NIWeek. And uh, also check out www.mobilehydraulictips.com and there's uh, one of the top articles on there. We're trying something new called Cover It Live, where we can kind of uh, go through the feeds of Instagram and, and Twitter and YouTube and collect, kind of curate some of the different NI Week content. So we're trying it. Take a look, see what you think. And as always, you can always see all of our engineering videos at www.designworldonline.com. Signing out for uh, the first full day of NI Week. Thanks for watching and join us tomorrow again.